Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do kind of like a bombshell-esque makeup look. And to me like bombshell makeup is when it's like neutral colors but you just look sultry and sexy and all that good stuff so that's what we're gonna do today i've also partnered with hourglass to show you the before and after of the caution lash extreme mascara i'm so excited because they are one of my favorite luxury brands and for those who didn't know they are also cruelty free also i'm gonna try to have a vlog up for you guys this week as well i'm gonna go get some i think botox tomorrow and i think i'm gonna vlog it and then i'll start editing the vlog i think when i said that the vlogs were coming back you thought they were gonna be like back the next day like after I said that no we ended up getting two new kittens last week the week before that and ended up launching our merch in that same week so I'm gonna have a vlog for you guys this week thank you for your patience I appreciate it so 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 much you don't even know so yeah let's get into today's video I'm, I'm I feel like I'm gonna ramble and I don't want to ramble um, I have a bit of hives on my face from the new kittens because if you guys didn't know I am allergic to cats but that's not gonna stop me from having all the kittens um so when i'm back there with them i kind of break out in hives a little bit so if you see any redness on my face it's the hives so yeah if you guys want to hang out with me for a little bit while we do this sultry bombshell-esque makeup which can totally be used for any situation i don't i don't I'm just thinking like i want to look like a bombshell today and i'm not going anywhere <laughs> So first things first, we're going to prep the skin like always. I've been using this Calm Water Gel from Dermalogica. I still kind of break out in hives. So if you see like any redness, it's just hives. I haven't taken a Benadryl or anything like that. So that's why I'm going to use this like calming water gel cream. Just to go ahead and hydrate the face. When we first got like our, our first babies, I had to take like allergy medicine like every single day and that's basically what I've been having to do now with the new babies. But your like body will get used to your own cats. Like when I go to my mom's house, like my allergies are out of control. And like if I'm playing with my cats and they like scratch me or something like that, like I do, it does like swell up and turn into a mega hive. So that's how I know I'm allergic. And every time I'm back there with the new babies, like I always end up breaking out in hives. Only on my face though. Why only on my face? Maybe because I'm like mushing the cats. That's probably why. Primer do I want to use? I really like this Aborian Extra Matte. This is an ultra mattifying primer with shine control in it. Now even though it says it's like ultra matte, I find that I don't look super matte dry situation. It just really helps to control the oil since it's like so hot in Florida right now. Plus it smells really, really good and it feels like silk, like when you're putting it on your face. So I mainly just put it like around my nose. Any place that you like know that you get like oily at is where this guy's gonna go. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells so good. Stagger. Okay, so for foundation, we're gonna use the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. This is a full coverage foundation. So I'm just gonna put some on the back of this beauty blender and then work this into the skin. Hello, coverage. Look at this side. And then look at this side. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Into that foundation, into it. So after I've done my eyebrows, I'm just pulling the base down, which I use to carve out my brows, which is the P. Louise base to prep our eyes for eyeshadow. And I just pull it down from my brows and kind of pat it all over the eye just to create a nice clean base for our eyeshadow. And the palette that we're gonna use today is the Born to Run palette, which I've never used before. It's from Urban Decay. And the reason that I wanted to use it is the shade Punk really caught my eye. But to start the look off, we are going to take the shade Riff and just a fluffy brush and work this into our crease. This is going to be like our transition color. You can totally do this two ways. You can put your darker shade on first and then blend out with your lighter color. Or you can do it this way where I'm just kind of building everything up and intensifying that. So I'm just going to keep working this shade in my crease until it's uh, looking how I want it to look. And I will say, since this was my first time using this palette, that the shadows blended out really, really easily. There wasn't a lot of dragging or pulling with the shadows. Super pigmented and 
there are a ton of looks that you can create with this palette so I'm excited to use it again for sure like I'm actually just staring at the palette as I'm recording this voiceover so let's get back to the video <laughs> next we're gonna go into the shade punk and we're gonna work this specifically in our crease trying to concentrate that color right where I'm working it right where my eye creases where it folds where it bends that's where we're trying to concentrate this color at I did switch to a smaller brush so that I could be a little more precise and then after I get the color built up to how I want it or the depth that I want it I'm gonna go back and forth with the shade riff and the original fluffy brush and just keep going over that to get a nice smooth blend on that shadow and then of course going back into punk and deepening it up going back with riff you're just gonna want to do this in stages until you feel like you're getting the color that you want and you're getting the smoothness of the blend that you want so just take your time So for mascara, I'm going to use the Caution Mascara from Hourglass. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite mascaras. This is a vegan mascara that gives you length, volume, and lift in your lashes. Like I said, it's quickly becoming one of my favorite mascaras. I really like the wand. I like how it has more like of a tapered in so that you can get like up in these little corner lashes. I also really love this mascara because I noticed that I don't get a lot of smudging with this mascara. I don't know if it's the wand or the formula or what, but that is like a huge thing to me. I will like to concentrate a lot of the product at the root of my lash. I just find that when you concentrate more of the product like at the root that your lashes end up looking a lot more full. Boom. Look at that lash. Oh, so good. So I think I'm gonna just throw some individual lashes on because why not? It's been a hot minute since your girl put on individual lashes, okay? So I added like five individuals to the ends of the lashes just to kind of fill in my gaps a little bit because I feel, I honestly still feel like my lashes are still recovering from lash extensions that I had like a bajillion years ago, but I like it. I'm into it. Takes longer, but I like the individuals. So moving on, we're gonna do a little bit of concealing. You know, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Favorite, favorite. That's, that's a little much, but it's okay. That's okay. So next to set the under eyes, you guys already know what I'm using. You know what I'm using. I'm using the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. This is the most magical, transforming powder that I've ever used in my whole life. It is a vegan powder. I don't think that I've mentioned that to you guys before, but it is a vegan powder that's going to blur the appearance of pores, fine lines, wrinkles. I just think that it makes the under eye look so beautiful. You guys have seen me use it so many times. And well, let me just use this so that you can see what I'm talking about. I also really like the sifter in this because it allows for the perfect amount to come out because it kind of just sits on top of it. So what I do when I'm using the powder is I just kind of tap it upside down like this, open, and then voila, we have the perfect amount of powder to use. A lot of you ask what I use to set it with. It is the Hourglass brush. It's dual-ended, and this side is just perfect for underneath the eyes. <laughs> so we're going to grab a little bit of this, tap off some excess, and I'm just going to hit my under eye one more time because I've been talking and looking all around just to kind of smooth out any creasing we might have. This powder is going to take care of that. And then I like to start from the outer and work my way in. You're going to want to use light pressure and then just tap that powder. I don't bake or anything like that because I don't I don't feel like it's necessary, but can you see the difference in smoothness from this under eye to this under eye? Like, Hello, magical. This is a true translucent powder as well, so it's going to leave an invisible finish on your skin, which is gonna be great for all skin tones. And again, you wanna use light pressure. A lot of people ask like, what the secret is to setting the under eyes, and I swear it's just the amount of pressure that you're applying to your under eyes, and look, look how smooth my under eyes look. Like, it's insane. The first time I used this powder, I was like, this is the only powder I'm ever using. I feel like you just look super airbrushed when you apply this powder. That's why I started setting my entire face with this powder, not just my under eyes. So when I set my whole face, I use the larger side of the brush and then just do like all over. You could totally just set places of your face that you feel like you get more dewy or more oily. 
but I like to put it over the entire face because it does just give that like super soft airbrush appearance to the skin. So it's like, why wouldn't I put this all over my face? If I could put this all over my body, I would. But look, at look, look. We just look instantly smoother and more airbrushed once this powder is on. Hourglass, what's in here? What is in here? Girl, this wig is on so tight. So next to bronze up the cheeks, we're going to use this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. This is the Luminous Bronze Light. I've had this bronzer for a while now. I think these bronzers came out a little bit ago. And usually I would never reach for a bronzer that had like shimmer in it, because this looks more like a highlight situation. But I started using this a few weeks ago and have just been so into it. I feel like it just blends everything so nice. And even though there is shimmer in it, you don't really notice on the skin. For blush, we're gonna use this CoverGirl blush in Peach Punch. So good, love how it smells. Super duper pigmented and drugstore like. A little bit goes a long way too, like it's not playing. And then for a little cheek glow, we're gonna use the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt. We're gonna use the Lighting Dust side, which is like my favorite one that she has. I like it because it's not like a super intense highlight. It just kind of adds a little bit of glow to your cheek. I'm going to add a little bit of a brown liner to my waterline. I've been really into this. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. This is also like my favorite lip liner, which we're going to use to line our lips today as well. But I use it under my eyes too. So we're going to just put this in our waterline. And then we're going to drag a little bit under there as well, like under the lower lash line. And then we're just going to smudge that out. like that and then we're gonna add some mascara to our lower lash line in there and then throw some more on top to kind of mesh everything together and give it a little more drama Ooh, do you see these lower lashes so we are going to line first again with this makeup forever pencil which is in limitless brown so obsessed with this obsessed drinking coffee and then trying to line your lips and then I'm going to put some of the Charlotte Tilbury KKW in the mix. We're going to do some blending, don't you fret. And then we're going to blend our lip liner into our lips. And then we're going to mesh it all together even more with a little bit of gloss. And this is from Girlactic in the shade Sheer Bone. So that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for hanging out with me. And I think that's all that I have to say. So I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.